Now, we all know the war as we've seen right now, the tanks that are rolling in into Ukraine, the genocide war that we see. So how has the stock market for you? How has it been for you, right? And uh, is it a bull market? Is it a bad market? Let me hear what you have to say. Just type into your result there. How has it been for you the last uh, three months or so? Has it been very, very scary, very, very fearful uh, that we've seen many people as sort of, you know, even give it up or... Right now, we have seen also foreign funds. Huh? Report of foreign funds are slowly moving in into this, this market that we've seen right now. So uh, has it been smooth sailing for you so far in 2022? Now, as part of the research that I have, I have this book in front of me here. And this is a book from the journey of discovering the Wyckoff volume spread analysis by Phil Freston. I will talk about him later. And he, he is a fund manager. His background is very, very similar to me, but he's based in UK. And uh, he used to be a student of uh, Tom Williams. And that's how I met uh, Tom in here. And I also met uh, Fred, uh, Phil Freston. So he has been a fund manager managing some private funds also. In here. And he actually uses fundamentals and also VSA as part and parcel of his trading. So it's very, very uh, good that this little uh, almost 300 pages talks about his journey and what volume spread analysis has brought him a lot of good benefits. And I'm sure that some of the members who are listening now has also been in here. For us, I think uh, what we have seen so far with this war, right? Have we seen even as despite it is, the market will generally will recover. We have seen that, I'm going to talk about previously before, that all war will have a timeline. Now, there are talks that this may go long, but usually the market will price in this kind of war and it start to recover in here. So do pay attention to some of the things that I've talked about. Check out the YouTube on the war uh, video tutorial that I've talked about in here. And is the war getting worse or getting by better by the day? Definitely many of you would have said the war is getting worse. So if it's getting worse, have you altered your tactics in the market or are you still waiting, waiting before the right time to buy, right? What is your take in here? Perhaps you can share me here. Do you want to wait and see or you are really going then and buying right now in here? So definitely what we talk about in here is having the right strategy. The right strategy is fairly important. And so far, we have the right strategy. That's the good news that we have. And uh, we, we have been sharing our trade BSA joy with all the members and the audience. We've been, you know, handing out good joys that you see in here. Uh, we published this in our website. Uh, there were a couple of pe people who responded uh, on the stocks that we were talking about, the trade idea. And if we had a small winning, we actually give the joy to these member in here. This was for MYEG, which we done it. And then previously, we did it also for the uh, YBS. And YBS has gone higher to in here. So we're gifted the joy to some of the members in there. I think Michelle was on two of those uh, joy that we have, right? Michelle, who is listening in here. And also, when we follow the Green Pentagon, having the right strategy, we almost realized 3,000 ringgit, uh, uh, real money anyway, real money. This is part and parcel of our uh, Pentagon Guider trading portfolio. And for those of you who don't know this, we've been showcasing this almost last year for 2021, much of it, and we still continue to go on. It's the, the signature of our Pentagon Guider using real money to trade. We realized almost 3,000 uh, ringgit uh, uh, profit in the span of uh, the last one week or so. So this is something good also, much, much needed, the kind of uh, environment that no doubt, even with the war that we've seen, we are still able to make the uh, returns that we've seen so far. And uh, so far, the returns from January to April, it's about 6.8% compared to the KLCI 2.11%. So we are leading very nicely in here. And we want to, so to find out more, I will talk about this in the uh, dashboard and also 360. This coming Friday. So make sure you join me on Friday, 8 p.m. And that's the uh, the Zoom link. So those of you who want to know more in our 360 uh, training and day trading for consistent profit, all right? So I will touch more on Friday itself. So volume spread analysis, I think many of you already known and be very, very familiar with it. Now, like it or not, volume spread analysis was actually based on the work of Richard Wyckoff and Tom William, which is actually my mentor too. And uh, that's a picture of Gavin one with project. And also Phil Freston, Phil uh, Freston is not in the photo, but he too also learned from uh, uh, Tom Williams in the area of technical analysis. Now, Tom 
part is the main contribution is because he was a syndicate trader and over the years being a syndicate trader he has the insight of how the the inner workings of the of the smart money uh, apart differently from some of the local one they talk about you know the the bankers money that's that's a slightly very really different okay let me just clarify from that one so what they're saying that smart money will engineer a lot of the news to trap people in here so it's kind of important to know where and what you are looking at and it is manual pattern recognition so far that I've learned we have already uh, patented and automated into the smart Roby and also in our green Pentagon. That's why we saw the result that we've seen earlier in here. So why is technical analysis so popular that we've seen so far? It's because 82% of the investor rely on some sort of technical to make a decision. You know, when they see there is a fear in the market, you will see climatic volume coming in, you'll see widespread bar. That's actually not a time uh, to, to, to be very fearful. It's a time to be uh, buying. And that's what, what Tom said, right? It's like, just like what uh, uh, this uh, Warren Buffett said, be greedy when there is people are fearful fearful all right and this is very very similar in the kind of and then 68 percent people confirm that they like to receive some sort of technical analysis strategy or independent recommendation not so much on the analyst but what on the price action that we've seen so far and 58 percent of the people wanted more education to use this kind of uh, technical analysis and then some of you are here tonight and that's why we are sharing in the uh, discovery of volume spread analysis in here now it is has become such a big demand that the SGX uh, Singapore, uh, the SGX Academy Singapore do recognize this and it put in as part and parcel of the uh, retail investor program. And uh, Wyckoff method has been a century old technical analysis helping to identify demand and, and cycle too. I think previously when we have our March conference, many of you may have attended uh, our, uh, we have our two international speaker, uh, uh, Ramon uh, Bogomozov and also Dr. Gary in here, right? So this framework that provide trader with the discipline to trade their plans and they'll do better in effect. And I've seen on the result that we have so far. So some of the uh, big trader that's using it like Earl Erlinger, the world champion in 2011, Ray Dalio, a price and volume trader in here, Victor Nieder offer is also one of the hedge funds, and uh, Jesse Stein, one of the traders that make 46,000 to 6.8 million in 28 uh, months. Now, why we're bringing this professional method in here? It is a method that will put you in the right spot. And that's why we have our guest member in here to share with you his journey in here. And Paul Tudor Jones summed it up very nicely, a billionaire hedge fund. He said that no man is better than a machine and no machine is better than a man with a machine. So what we're saying in here, we believe that if you are just using a machine itself, but if you have a tools and the power of the, the head here, person is well trained well to make judgment then he has much much better than any uh, uh people that we've seen out there all right so here is a picture of me and my sifu in here and he says that it's very very important to understand the market dynamics in terms of price and action in here he was the father of volume spread analysis what the price is doing when the volume is is low what does it mean when the volume is medium what does it mean when the volume is high what does that mean so we all need to understand the mechanics where and this is something that we talk a lot and deeply mount the coaches in our master class and i already extended the invitation to our master class the next one will be uh, after hari raya that will be in uh, april that's right so we are sort of promoting that too in here but of course meanwhile they are there are uh, oncoming classes that we are doing is a deep value investing you can sign up for our program and also access the VSA 360 and get straight to it with our coaches and myself in here to start making money like the 3,000 ringgit that, that we have uh, realized in here and a couple of hundreds on the day trading that we have and those will keep you keep starting and you see how we're doing it. So what he did say that uh, the, the, the market is dominated and moved by uh, markets by few institutional institutions known as the smart money in here, okay? known as the start money in here and uh, that's why we uh, we have this uh, uh, institutional people that we wanted to uh, okay and uh, so these are the people that that sorry so these are the people that we have to be very careful and there are always always many of these people around in here okay then uh, next we have is 
uh, the sole purpose of VSA, the sole purpose of VSA basically, and once you're able to read the fear, the emotion, the price and the volume, it makes you more confidence and kind of put you in a driver's seat, okay? In a driver's seat that encourages you to trade more confidently. And that's why, you know, we are able to do the kind of result and share the good traditional trade VSA joint. So if you want that trade VSA joint, those of you who wanted it, you join us in our breakfast show on this uh, every Friday, uh, every Friday, every Friday morning, 10.15, and also Monday, 10.15 in here. All right. And uh, now I'm going to share with you next is the whole uh, uh, family history of uh, uh, this uh, Richard Wyckoff and Tom Williams. You can see on the top right-hand side, you have uh, uh, Richard Wyckoff who started it all. And from then onwards, uh, with Bob Evans, they started the uh, Stock Market Institute. That's where everybody came. My Sifu, Bill Wermang, and also Tom, they all came from there. Then you have another branch off, which is David Weiss, which is also uh, Gary Dayton's uh, Sifu in here. Then you got William O'Neill, the, the, uh, the, the very popular author, uh, they started at the cancelling methodologies, okay, which is institutional, which is under uh, Dr. Reichert, uh, Dr. Chris Krychek and uh, Gil Morel. So uh, this is where uh, Philip Fresson, this is this guy in here, in the book in here, he also has students like Earl Langer, which are really top trader. And all they did was just spend uh, a bit of time with, with the Sifu themselves and managed you know, to, to really make an impact in their life and also more importantly, change their life and seeing it. And today, well, we have that. Uh, already. So the question is always, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So the question is, <coughs> are you ready? Like, all right, as I said before, many of you all are ready in my particular, but I think all you need to be encouraged to nudge, to make that approach uh, into talking to the coaches and talking to us in here. I think that's important. That's why we have said before. And definitely tonight, we have our uh, uh, the uh, our guest speaker, Mr. Hari, and continue to learn from our, all our international speakers that we had previously before, like Dr. Roman. So we, what we want to do is to uh, put all the Sifu and all the master into a community where we all learn and share together. So when we all learn and share together, there's so much we can do as a community in the, in the volume spread analysis in here uh, through the guidance of Dr. Gary and also Ramon, which we established uh, since the March 2022 in here. So that is really a benefit for those of you in here. So continue to join us, join our paid program, right? Subscribe to our Trade VSA plugin and so 360 and enjoy more benefits and able to benefit from the right strategy that we talked about so far. And uh, 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 Ramon, who is actually a junk professor, from the Golden Gate University. He's famous for his market structure that you've seen in here. You can check out his website at uh, wyckoffanalytics.com in here. Being in the business for around the 25 years already. So he's really the Sifu of the Sifu. All right, uh, 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 Ramon in here, which uh, he came and talked. Then we also have Dr. Gary, which is actually a psychologist. On his website, Dr. Gary Dayton, go and check it out. It's Dr. Gary, Seven Parts Guide to a Mental Trading Skill. It's an educational uh, series that will sharpen your mental skill in trading. And those of you who came on March would have seen how well he talked about the psychology all of us traders have. And of course, tonight we will also touch a bit on that too. And, and finally, uh, we're going to go on to the guest speaker that we have for tonight, right? Uh, is uh, Hari, are you ready, Hari? Yes, I Okay, now yeah. I'm going to uh, stop sharing in here. Uh, perhaps uh, I've known Hari what, way, way back before COVID, isn't it, right, Hari? Yeah, yeah. In, <coughs> uh, in 2009, he came 19, in and yeah. uh, went through our program uh, at that time. So I'm going to make you a uh, co-host. You can share your screen right now. Okay. Now, then I will talk something about, about uh, Hari here. Is your slide on? Yes, just where we're. So let me talk about Hari first. Hari came to our program in 2019. And uh, yeah, is it 2020? Yeah, 2020, okay. 2020. Yeah, just during the... Uh, the COVID, right? Uh, he came to our building. We had, we had a great talk. He brought, he came with his wife and he said, uh, then he said, Mr. Martin, well, I really want to learn and I'm uh, really surprised that the things that you teach are very insightful in here. And fast forward, you know, all the, the, the challenges that we see in the market in here, I have to say, I think Hari came through a long way. And a lot of this, like it or not, uh, uh, more than 60% is your own effort, isn't it, right? 
Yes, yes. Right. Yes, so tonight, mean, yeah. uh, let's yes. enjoy his uh, sharing tonight, a very uh, short sharing, and then later on, we'll move down to the uh, Q&A. Okay, Let, take it away. Uh, okay, thank you, Mr. Martin. So, you know, uh, first of all, I have to thank to Trade Visa team, Mr. Martin, you know, uh, because give me this wonderful opportunity to share my knowledge, you know, uh, just my experience, you know, my journey in Trade Visa, actually. So, um, okay, if my name is Hari Haran Karnanidi, uh, so I'm a profession, uh, you know, actually, uh, I'm working in somewhere in one of the place, which is I couldn't reveal, yeah. So just uh, put it short as I'm a trader or investor. And I'm a member of Trade Visa since March 2020. Okay, so I almost in Trade Visa for almost two years. You know, I, I'm in the journey in Trade Visa for almost two years. Uh, you know, I swim in Trade Visa, uh, you know, uh, here for almost two years. Uh, before I move in, you know, I just want to share that is, uh, you know, uh, the reason the reason i know uh go for just for a while okay so uh i attended the trade visa course in may 2020 you know uh many of you uh you know you just eager to know why i choose trade visa why you know i never choose any other you know platform or any other causes because actually my background is is finance from i'm from finance background you know when I look at you know uh, trade visa, uh, you know uh, mm, the Wyckoff method, so I could see that uh, uh, they are teaching about uh, demand and supply. You know, and of course I learn a lot about demand and supply when uh, during my my degree in master's time. But if you're comparing with the Wyckoff method, it's a bit you know uh, totally it's different uh, you know different. Uh, environment different area you know i learned something is new for me and when i you know venture when every person when come to the stock market or any financial market i believe that you know all the price movement is you know depends on demand and supply i think everybody knows this so trade i mean uh, the volume spread analysis you know uh, this uh, they are teaching about uh, uh, demand and supply and i believe you know uh, this uh, this will be uh, you know uh, uh, important for us to know uh, about the volume spread analysis, which is they are teaching about demand supply method to do a trading or investment in this uh, financial market, either it's a stock market, I mean either in bursa or anywhere, anyway, any stock markets, you know. So that's uh, that's the reason I choose trade visa. A master class i joined to trade visa master class you know to learn about more about volume spread analysis and uh okay before and after the trade visa master class okay i joined if i told you you know i joined in may 2020 you know before that i have no any knowledge about this uh volume spread analysis you know i know a little bit about demand supply you know you know everybody you know we, we learn this in, in in degree you know and bachelor degree time you know in economic and all that but when we are comparing value, uh, I mean, in, in, in stock market and financial market, comparing here, it's totally different uh, education, see? So, uh, uh, if you ask me, in, in you know, in stock market, you know, in volume channels, I have no idea. I have no knowledge on this. So, uh, I struggle a bit because when, before I joined Trade Visa, I do some gambling. So, I just buy and sell, buy and sell, you know. Uh, you, you know, we, 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 we see when uh, volume kicking in, uh, we go enter, you know. Uh, when price movement is when uh, is let's say the price going up, you know, going up and up, then we go and enter. You know, actually, actually, that's not a way to you know uh, to do a trading or you know investment here. You know, uh, so volume trade analysis, a uh, trade visa will teach us the proper way, proper guidance. You know, for us, they will they will teach proper way how to do a trading. Let's say we yeah, everybody must come become must come from the trade as a trader you must come from a trader then only you can become an investor so to become a trader we should know we really must know about the technical analysis so first we must master in technical analysis this is the thing which trade visa uh, teaching us uh, you know uh, how to do uh, you know uh, how to analyze the market you know when you enter when you should enter when you're supposed to take profit where you put the stop loss 
uh, what is this uh, indicators what type of you know uh, there are a lot of indicators you know uh, you know what your favorite indicator when you experience with this uh, you know uh, trade visa uh, plugin software then you know you know you know which uh, indicator you more prefer to you know uh, to use see first after i join after i join trade visa before i have lack of knowledge and everything then after trade visa i got a, a little bit of knowledge but a bit confused but a bit, but still you know uh, trade visa will continue teaching us guiding us you know uh, they not just uh, leave it us uh, like that like that you know uh, we can continually we can communicate with them to learn more uh, you know to, to enhance our uh, skills and knowledge you see so from there i became a trader and i learned about the market sentiment First of all, you see, when you become a trader, definitely we, become, we can we only can become a trader. We don't know how to invest. So when we become a trader, there are a lot of you know challenges. You see, so uh, we use the software, trade visa software. Sometimes you know we make, sometimes we we lose. You know, but be, according to the trade visa plugin, the winning ratio will be bit much more better, much more higher comparing with like you are just layman. Just without any indicator, any uh, you know trade visa plugin, you just trade like that. Then the probability will be lower, because in uh, plugin we have uh, a lot of indicators you know uh, provided by trade visa master. I mean trade visa plugin like for example NS, COC, SP, and LC. A lot of indicators we have. So this is one of the you know uh, we have uh, you know sign of trend, sign of weakness, a lot of things you know. So. We can learn one by one, and definitely every person have their own favorite indicator which they really focus on. Then we can just trade, uh, use that. For example, my favorite setup is NS. Of course, NS. Everybody like NS. So COC, so COC and NS is my favorite setup. Uh, I like to use these indicators, you know, in stock market. Okay, and perhaps uh, Hari, for the yeah. benefit of those people who have not attended, just share very briefly what is NS, COC, and SP. In English, you know what okay. they understand. Okay, NS is no supply. No supply means you always look at you see when the market price movement, little price moving up and up. Then after that, suddenly the price price people will you know when the price move up, price people will go and sell their uh, their stocks. You see the, the any stocks or whatever. When they sell, we will look at the selling volume. The, the volume there. Yeah? They will teach you a volume. When the selling bell is the selling volume getting lesser and lesser, we could see there are uh, no selling. What I mean, we we can identify the selling volume getting reduced and become dry off. And when the NS form that it means there are no seller. We get this indication that there are no sellers there, and the NS is formed on that particular bar. So, so what NS you are form, so yeah so basically what you're saying is that when there are no more sellers the sellers are dried up it is yeah. likely that the market is going to go up and the yes. job of volume spread analysis is to find out whether there's any more sellers or not and, and yeah. is this correct yes correct and before that if once you can and after form the NS you have to get the confirmation of NS so make sure that the the the, the next bar should be the uh, up bar. So once you know the volume is kicking, then the following bar you you can enter in the, the third bar. You know if let's say they have a small pullback. So it's a no. The N is something like a, you try to identify there are no seller there and the the, the the selling is drying up. You know the drying off. Then you are waiting, uh, get ready to enter to the market. This is the NS. So if let's say there are no NS, you know. We don't know, you know, the we we could see the we could see the volume, but it's very difficult to identify there is a, the the area the bar is the NS bar or not whether the the, the volume is there is a no supply volume or not. So uh, this is a uh, the trade visa software will showing us you know the indicator will show us easily you know easy for us you know to identify where's NS and where's the COC you know COC is class of closure class of closure something like the price is is, is play around. In the same area and same price, same level, same this this narrow spread bar. They call narrow spread bar. You see the confirmation will. If let's say they have three narrow spread bar, then is a uh, in uptrend. You know, normally it's go uptrend. After that is drop a bit or just sideways. And if you uh, can see that they form COC class of closure with narrow spread bar or three bars, 
then the fourth bar you can get ready to go in let if you great, want then the stop loss that's the great i think i i think uh, uh harry really got it well and how long do you take you to learn all this uh the coc and there's how many oh. you know how many uh classes do you have to re-attend back <laughs> <laughs> i attended a few classes yeah because uh the, the, the good part is the, the the you know the good part is wonderful part is you know it you know once you we enter into the master class we still have the opportunity to enter again and again it free of charge you see we don't no need to pay anything so so uh, i i you know i attend a few classes so i don't i think around four uh, but every time every class every time we learn a new thing you see so not like a first class we first attended the master class for today maybe after a few months is uh, we, we you know we will we will learn uh, slightly a different you know they have add on they have some updates and all that so but the ns coc we still learn continuously and mm. we try to catch up to enhance our uh, how to how to do how to trade with the ns how to trade with the coc so it will for me it will take around you know it took around few classes around four to five classes <laughs> then yeah then I, that is my ns is my favorite setup i, I just uh, you know that's you know that's my favorite uh, indicator ns and goes to stop loss you know, uh, earlier before I come to trade visa, okay, this you know, uh, I, you know, trade visa, I don't like to put stop loss. That's my major weakness, okay. And I scared to cut loss because I feel oh, why I want to cut loss? I wait for the price to go drop and come back again. When it drop and come back again, it should take few months. You see, so that is a this is this is very low for me. Actually. Uh, my uh, advice is I, which I learned from master class from Sifu, uh, from coaches, from trading visa. Please have a stop loss. Make sure please have a stop loss. You know because when you have a stop loss, you cut your risk. You manage your risk. Your risk will be lower. It's okay. You still uh, cut loss with the eight percent. You know, seven uh, percent uh, of uh, you know seven uh, percent. Then after that, you cut. You can go to the next trade. If not, your money will stuck in there, and you cannot go for next opportunity. <laughs> uh, let's say if you get an opportunity, let's say your money stuck in that, you know that particular trade, or maybe we have four trades, you don't have a stop loss. The four trades also drop. Maybe if I have example Ukraine, uh, uh, you know, if, uh, you know Ukraine Russia problem, everything's drop. If no stop loss, pop, then you have no money to buy at the bottom. So Mr. That's Harry, a- can I ask you a question? Why do you find, from your own experience, why do you find people have difficulty cutting loss? Like you say, you also find very hard at the start. Well, because uh, what I, you know, if my experience, based, uh, based on my experience, they feel, you know, they don't want to lose money. Even also, uh, you know, uh, although it's a 5%, 3%, they don't want to lose money. On that, you know, uh, they're, they're, they're expecting... I know, uh, no, at least I want to break even. They wait for the break even. Always like that. Whatever, if let's say they never put a stop loss, the price dro- drop, they go to 20% or 30% or 40%, they're mm-hmm. still waiting, expecting the price <laughs> to go up. Don't do expect. We cannot, we cannot expect the price to go up, go up, go up. No, this is not mm-hmm. something like, uh, you know, you know, you're waiting. You see, this yeah. is... Uh, analysis when you do you must have the trading uh, strategy trading plan if you don't have trading plan yes finish so they don't want to lose money even 50 ringgit they don't want to lose 100 dollars they don't want to lose so mm. they still uh, i mean well, me i'm i'm one of the example actually i don't want to lose money you know but now even even sometimes you see i mean i go for investing uh, you know now sometimes even even uh, 10% 12% also i cut loss because I don't want to lose money. I don't want to wait until 40%. I lose 40%, 50%. Then I wait for another six months or seven months to come back, the price to come back. So don't do this. Because if I cut loss for even for 8%, then if I go for better pawn, better better portfolio, I mean better trade, I can get more than uh, 10%, 20 or 30%. Then you still can cover in different uh, area. But if you never cut loss, if let's say me, early part, earlier, what earlier, you know, uh, what I do, I don't do any stop loss. I don't have any stop loss. I wait for the price to come back. So what happens is my all my money is stuck, stuck yes. in that particular all the trades, and I'm waiting for maybe one or two trades to come back 
then I do a break even. And when I have no money, then whatever opportunity, you always must remember, market always give us opportunity. Don't rush it. Don't, no need to rush for it. Just wait for the right time to enter. But to enter to, mm. to, enter to the right time, you must have the money. You must have the uh, capital. So, but if you, all the money is stuck in that uh, particular, I mean, a few, uh, I mean, uh, the trades, then we cannot do anything. We cannot trade. And others, others will do trading and we will watch and see, you know, what they are making. See? So, whatever, if let's say, always must remember, not 100% we can win in the market. We are just a retailer, just a small chips. So, we just have to swim in the whales. So, if you must think about like a wave. So, we just, if let's say, it's not according to our trading plan, just cut. We must have the stop loss. Definitely must have a stop loss. If let's say, if you don't want to have a stop loss, uh, that is the different level. You must go to the investing part. Uh, that is the, we talk about later. So, uh, this is a stop loss. Stop loss, we can discuss, talk more. We can talk a lot about the stop loss. So, my my advice, my experience, you know, uh, I always advise people, you know, our members, you know, even as uh, new members, upcoming members, please, please, please have stop loss. This is my major weakness those days, but not now. So I already have a trading plan. I stop, I just cut, I cut loss. If 8% or 7%, that's all. So next to technical analysis. So I learned a lot of technical analysis from Coach Zag, Fu, Ali, you know, our, we have our coaches and all that. And fundamental analysis, a lot I learned from Mr. Martin. I learned a lot from Mr. Martin. And now, so anything which I don't know, I know I feel like, uh, you know, uh, if let's say, I, even I, we have to do some homework as well. I do some homework, you know, I, you know, uh, then after that, I forward to Mr. Martin or even uh, Coach Zach, you know, I ask them to confirm whether what I did is correct or not. And they will do, re re they're correcting me if wrong. You know, I learn from there a little bit by little bit, you know, a bit uh, there, a bit here, you know. And I try to uh, make it, try to, make, uh, to become, uh, you know, perfect uh, trader. Not to say perfect trader. Try to, uh, you know, uh, you know, to become a good trader. Lah. Huh? So, uh, so uh, I, I, I try to master technical analysis first before go to fundamental. Because we must know, we must master in technical analysis. At least 70% if you know about technique, how it works, mm. how you do, how you to use CNS, how you uh, can enter in COC, how, how, what is the line change, you know, LC bar, you know, UT, UT is very, very important for in the stock market, you know, uh, first UT, mm. second UT, how to differentiate, everything you should know. So, uh, if once you know, then you know the technically, then uh, the the price movement, the volume, I mean, if you understand the, how to read the volume, everything, then, then okay, you can, you can, you can go to the next level to fundamental analysis. I mean, for fundamental, which is talking about, let's say, if you want to become an uh, investor, you want to keep for one year, uh, you know, 12 months or 24 months, you know, so uh, you can go to the next level fundamental analysis. Mr. Hari, you mentioned that you are more of a fundamental. Now, how many, how, how much of a percentage are you fundamental? Let's say 100% is full fundamental. Are you now uh, 60, 40 or 70, 30 fundamental, 30% 30 technical driven? What, what is your, your take? Okay, okay. A good question, Mr. Martin. Actually, uh, actually uh, I'm 100% fundamental. Okay, okay. Hundred percent fundamental. You know uh, why I don't trade because uh, one, of course, is uh, you know some you know because because what I feel you know from my experience, I could see that the fundamental get a I mean you know first of course uh, a bit busy and all that we cannot you know trading is always you have to watch you know you have to look uh, sit in front of the computer you have to watch every time you know one hour two hours you know you know everything you have to do see and the the mental stress is different but yes of course we can do the trading but the the different uh, different uh, profit different you you will get different profit different mental mm -hmm. uh, stress a different uh, area see technically i mean the trading but investing is something like i like to do research and i like to read a lot you know, when I, you know, I, I swim in the fundamental, I go for better, I mean, a good uh, stock, uh, I pick a good stock, the different industry, and I feel comfortable with this fundamental. I feel mm. the comfort because I could see the profit. I could see the 
uh, the I mean uh, 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 for the longer term, I could see the uh, price appreciation. So everything. So I, I is it will comfortable. Is, is I feel it's very comfortable for me. You know, uh, uh, fundamental because even if you talk about financial uh, fund managers, I mean talk about waves and all these people. Uh, everybody uh, they they more prefer fundamental. They don't do trading. So from my point of view, I learned. I read a lot. And trading, I don't, I don't blame you know people uh, trade, but that is a beginning, uh, very important part because everybody you know there are people one uh, day, uh, day, day, uh, day, uh, day, daily cash, you see, so uh, they can they can trade. There are no right or wrong, but it depends on individual mm. how they want to you know choose whether they want to choose trader. But for me, but let's say for first uh, one year, I became a trader. Now only I'm switching slowly to fundamental, okay. Okay. fundamental songs. Okay, great, great, yeah. good, good answer, good yeah. answer. I think there was a, a change in terms of your your style, what you wanted to have, right? Because now yeah. you're more aware of, I suppose, your strength and your weakness, and then you focus on something you felt that more on the longer term, right? Longer term, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. proceed. Let's proceed. Yeah, yeah. So once we know we we know we we master the technical. And fundamental is not an issue, but you should know how to choose the stocks. But it technically, uh, if you uh, if when we trade fundamentally, but it doesn't mean we not uh, never look at this uh, market. Uh, I mean the chart. We always look at the chart as well because we always look have to look at the SOW, a sign of strength, sign of weakness. You see where to you know sometimes if it's possible after six months or four months is it oh we have to okay so, suddenly we are predicting we are you know inflation going to come in kick in in US so we have to be careful so we have to look whether we have to change our portfolio we have to uh, uh, sell uh, maybe a small portion or forty percent or fifty percent wait for the inflation once the inflation uh, announced is a price drop you buy again then come up so you should you should you should know how to you know align with that actually. Uh, that is the uh, thing. That's why chart is very important. Until now, I'm still using trade visa like it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So okay, learning fundamental analysis. Okay, yes. Okay, choose to become. So now I choose to become a choose to become an investor. I'm not a trader, and uh, follow always, always, always. You know, uh, follow Mr. Martin guidance and teachings. You know, uh, why I choose to become a uh, be investor because. I follow Mr. Martin's uh, uh, foot steps actually because uh, I like the way you know you know to analysis to how to do what to do you know you must uh, refer to what you know how to uh, uh, you know uh, change your diversify in your portfolio you must know you must know you must look at the macro level you see so venture in different points so always can uh, we, if let's say my op my advice always you know for a new trader okay. Maybe they can go to Bursa, you know, you know, you know. Uh, even if let's say they want to go for better bond, you know, Nasdaq is the better bond. But if for me, I start up, start started with the Bursa, so I invested everything hundred percent in Bursa. So uh, then I learned there in Bursa. I mean, I stock Bursa stock market. You know, I uh, I mean, I became a trader. Then from there, slowly I switched to Nasdaq, S and P five hundred, and finally I moved to crypto. I mean, uh, a small portion I moved to crypto. Okay, this is a, this is a journey actually. You know, um, why why uh, why I choose different font? It is the is a, is a thought by Mr. Martin as well. You know, we you know we you know we not cannot always uh, sit in one font because mm. you have to diversify the ports. You see your 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 portfolio. First, you have to diversify. If you look at the macro level, you have to diversify. So bursa maybe you can have a certain portion. Nasdaq, S and P five hundred. You see, always look at the market cap. How the market? I mean, the I mean, the money circulation. So, what is the bursa market circulation? Market cap, Nasdaq, S and P five hundred. How the money movement? So, always the money. You know how the money flow. When the money flows, is more the flows. The the the. I mean the. I mean the market is much more better and uh, better. We will get better aging. So let's say if you bursa. We have the market cap around 1.8 trillion only in 2022. If let's say I'm talking about now, but next day if you're comparing, it's almost 10, 10 times, almost nine to ten times bigger than Bursa. Almost around I think around 15 trillion, 15 yeah. trillion. So S&P 500 almost is 40 trillion. You see the different uh, pawn. So 
we as a uh, i mean investor if a given trader trader also can go to nasdaq you know they can do uh, a lot of trading you know uh, there are a lot of uh, good stock in in us okay then slowly switching to crypto crypto uh, crypto market cap around 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 uh, 2 trillion or 1.8 trillion now so uh, 2, uh, 2 2 trillion 2 2.2 2 2.2 trillion so uh, definitely you ask me why 2.2 trillion or why you are investing in crypto if you look at my portfolio it is cashing at abc the crypto is 40% there <laughs> okay and snp is 50% and almost bursa is 10% is much more less you know and uh, so because when you you know you swim with the technical analysis you learn from trade visa you know uh, you, you learn about technical you know you in, you know you do trading in bursa and all that and from there you slowly will get a better picture you you know where to you know uh, diversify your you know your i mean your your your, your capital you know you slowly you just have to diversify and look at the different one as well okay okay what is the stock i just want to a small uh, okay this is a, just a small a small just simple briefing on why why what is the difference between stocks and crypto crypto is something like a very 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 challenging part okay crypto because stocks because you know i'm fundamental i'm you I, i'm a fundamental I'm, i'm an investor i'm not like you know i'm doing trading you know uh, i uh, i learn a lot in fundamental in term of stocks you know stocks and crypto is totally different if you look at a fundamental point of view and even for do trading also okay trading is okay but there are advantages and disadvantages you should understand the risk uh, management risk exposure once you know uh, the things then uh, from based on according to that you can uh, do uh, trading uh, trading in even crypto okay okay what is the different stocks is in companies stocks is always have a companies right so yes. uh, yeah the crypto is uh, i just uh, forgot to add this blockchain technology so we are invest crypto is investing in technology it's not a company if you look at uh, uh, companies how we invest in uh, companies because we always have a, lo- a lot of methods you see we look at a financial statements we look at third point financial mm-hmm. statement we have swot analysis we, we try to find undervalued stock kagi a lot of a lot lot we have to look at different angle you see if you want to choose the stock but if crypto blockchain is totally different so you really have to uh up to date yourself in uh the technology blockchain technology so you have to look at the market cap always remember market cap is very important for uh blockchain technology and adoption level why we are investing in technology because we don't have all these financial statements all analysis undervalued stock we don't have all these to evaluate fundamentally to invest in blockchain technology so we have to look at different angle to invest in blockchain technology so we have to look at market cap circulation supply a lot lot adoption level smart contract a lot of things so this is just a summary just i just i don't want to brief more just a, this is thing a difference uh, comparing companies i mean stock and crypto you see so adoption so, level so i can i say something that you found a niche uh in the uh, research that you've done and really got you interested in cryptocurrency right so you yes. felt that uh, this is one of the futures moving forward and that's why you put uh, some investment as it is a long term right you yes, long term. Right. yes yes you see you see okay now uh, people will ask why this is just a 2.2 trillion market cap you're talking about but uh, it is a very small market cap why are you comparing let's say nasdaq and s&p there's a bigger bigger pond yes yes of course but crypto blockchain technology something is uh, just start up now is king up and if you look at the future like mr martin said this we are talking we are thinking about future so this 2 trillion we are we are we are predicting that it will go to 200 trillion one day or 20 trillion one day so so we are predicting for the market cap something like that so that's why you see everything is now technology we have a digital asset digital a uh, gold a lot a lot of function for every uh, token for <coughs> token so so uh, we are investing in technology we believe that the, the, the they going to adopt this technology in future another next 3 years 5 years uh, 10 years you see so because everything going to earth to the technology everything going to earth to the digital so if you talk about like a reason in singapore even i mean i mean uh, you know 
in even uh, you're talking about import export or whatever things everything has become uh, blockchain already so we can singapore uh, very fast in adopt uh, adopting this uh, uh, i mean uh, this blockchain technology as well so just our neighbor so but what is the uh, what is the another difference centralized decentralized what is that means centralized is something like stock is centralized which is regulated Reg regulator control the uh, the market i mean not to say control the market is 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 controlled by a certain body you see mm. they are regulated so the regulator observing this uh, stocks you see you cannot do and the companies cannot just simply do whatever they want you see but decentralized something that cannot be controlled regulator yes. still could yeah it's not controlled you see that's why they decentralized something like now now if you look at a uh, world you see uh, slowly slowly uh, you know there are so many companies not legalized yet there are so many sorry not so many countries not legalized yet and there are so many countries legalized that as well and the mm. slowly the countries adopting they are legalizing it why 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 did we do why there are a lot of countries not legalized it and they still uh, worried about this because they don't know what is this means why how it works and all that even malaysia as well we don't know what what blockchain technology about we should, you know you know you know we only know bitcoin right so we don't know a lot of other tokens as well right correct and so okay. bitcoin mm. so okay. so so try to try to yeah. you know you definitely done a lot of uh, research and and uh, totally in <laughs> yeah, the line yeah. of many of the crypto uh, lover yeah yeah i'm a very i'm crypto lover <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah so this is the thing so what is it another thing is 8 hours 24 hours so crypto is 24 hours and stocks is 8 hours so uh, this is a difference so uh, okay uh, next okay road to 1 million what is that road to 1 million so how to achieve 1 million uh, so uh, this is the for example just a simple uh, small uh, you know uh, this is which i uh, i got it from mr martin i think around one and a half years ago mm. <laughs> I got it for Mr. Martin. This belongs to Mr. Martin. I don't mind. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So I still keeping this. This is something which is changed my, my thought, you see, to become a fundamental, uh, you know, investor. So you see, you look at, for example, you are investing 50,000. So you are top up, you know, you have a 20, uh, 8%, uh, uh, 8%, uh, I think this calculation is a bit wrong, I think. Uh, okay. It's 8% return. 8% return. Yes. And you are invest. You are top up twenty thousand per year. That's right. Uh, twenty thousand per yeah. year. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So fifty to seventy five. So how the uh, I mean uh, the uh, accumulation of your profit. You see, for the next ten years. So in twenty years, you can achieve one point three million. Let's say if you are invested, if in the eight uh, percent, if you let's say you are gaining eight percent or ten percent, how how about ten percent ratio? How about twelve percent percentage? 15% profit, 20% profit, you can com- do the comparison. 10 or 12 or 15 or 20. If you look at Trade Visa, we are roughly, uh, always Mr. Martin said, 30% is very good now. Always Mr. Martin said, 30% is very good already. Yes, it's very good. Yes, I believe on that. Even, that's why I go for, I mean, uh, uh, lesser than that. Let's say we don't need to go 30%. Just imagine we have a twenty percent. Yeah. So let me just give we... a background to the reader. What we are sharing here, for those of you who don't know, as part of our student uh, assessment of the goal, it's important then to give them an overall long term goal. Especially those yeah. of you who come in a bit uh, at a young age. That's why we always encourage some of you coming in around in your thirties and forties. I know many of you come in around 65 or 70, and then you ask me, you know, I want to make a million in 10 years. It's going to be difficult. That's why we always say a financial education like this need to start young. No doubt, if you have someone like your, your son or whatever, it's best that they know this knowledge. The sooner they know about it, it's better. You need to know the uh, compounder rate of return, right? As we said before, like what uh, Harry said, then you need to know, put, put in how much, and then you have a formula, a recipe, a recipe of uh, success in here. And you know you're going to hit that 1 million, maybe uh, 2 million or 3 million. But a lot of us, uh, we, we don't have that goal in mind. It's partly because that we can't blame ourselves because there was not enough education out there. And that's one of the things that we try to do in Trade VSA uh, is to educate many uh, young professionals like Mr. Hari in there so they can also teach that to their, their peers and their friends. 
All right? Just, just a little bit of background information. And we do this in all our wealth building uh, workshops uh, here. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that's the road to 1 million. And next, if you go to how to achieve, okay, definitely uh, without knowledge, we cannot go to the next level. That is my, you know, uh, as I know, because that is my experience, you see. So if we have a limited knowledge, even if without a knowledge, uh, we can go to the next level. And of course, the knowledge is very powerful. So if once we have the knowledge, we can not only can keep it, nobody can take it out from us. Yep. And one. Second thing is, you can pass on your knowledge to your children and to your, you know, I mean, your children, your wife, or whatever, you know. So... In order to do that, you must have knowledge. And this knowledge, actually, of course, trading, I know, volume trade analysis helps me a lot. It helped me a lot. And I learned, I attended my training course in masterclass. So I learned about FICO method. And until now, I'm almost two years plus, I still believe and trust 100% on FICO method. Because even if I talk about crypto, crypto also people talking about FICO method. So every way, because all volumes, uh, what all volume, you have to look at volume. How 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 you have to know simple only, simple. How mm. to read volume? That's all. Once you know how to read the volume, settle the problem is settled. So then, in order to read how to, to read volume to 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 read volume easier is better. Trade visa plugin is helps us a lot all in right. terms of. And Thank you for your endorsement yeah. of our our program, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay, then uh, of course, uh, once we have uh, attended a training course or a masterclass, and why we know about the white top method, and we try to enhance our anal technical analysis, then from there we must have the strong fundamental analysis, and definitely this will be guided by uh, Sifu Martin continuously. Whatever you know, if let's see, if you ask me. I, I, you know, I don't mind to share this. You know, sometimes if I don't know, I text Mr. Martin. Even at 12 o'clock, <laughs> I text Mr. Martin because uh, US market open late one. So I always, yeah. <laughs> so I text at the night. So 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So, so he will reply. He, he always reply me. Okay, uh, why this, why then all that. So from there, I learn. I learn because always must remember, we must have someone with a mentor to, to go for the next level without mentor is very difficult for me what 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 i learned this you see yeah. so and of course trade me visa plugin which i already told you is a powerful tool uh, you everybody must have this even until now i'm using this you know then uh, back testing with guidance of trade visa team let's see we can we ourselves can do the back testing you, if without you do the back testing we, we it's very very difficult you know whether is it workable is it really works or not so for example, NS. I said NS very good. Yeah, for me. So we do back testing for NS. Just choose a uh, uh, right stocks and you know, you know whatever stocks you know. We have a screen NS screen. You know you can get it. You know you can do back testing. You know for 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 maybe for one year or two years and try to get the percentage how much you are getting. You know let's see. We just use the NS. Uh, use the NS rates. So you will get some, you know, uh, the, the the difference. You see, different. Or oh, if you come, with maybe you want to do a spring. So use the spring back testing. So always do the back testing and check with the team. Check with the coaches. Is it or correct or not? Is it uh, 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 wrong or not? Wrong or mistake? Whatever they will guide us. No, you have to go this way. You have to do this way. It can be back testing. So of course they have a weekly training session, big for show, and I learn a lot also from weekly training session. Just not only attended the master class. Of course, we have, we have to know a training session. See, you see, for example, when you do one thing continuously, or you look, you see one thing continuously, you will become master. So if you we 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 let's say we don't want to follow whatever, then that's different. See. Okay, so, let's let's move on. Uh, we're gonna go down. Uh, I think you got one more slide, right? Then we will move on to the Q and A. Am I correct? In yeah, yeah. Results. Sure, sure. Yes. Yes. So these are my performance. So 20% return 35 percent. So I'm waiting for 2022. Have, very good. I have to I have to say that's one of the better ones uh, that I've seen so far uh, for year uh, 2020 and 21. Being a beginner started, I, I believe that's one of the real advantages when you have proper coaching, you know, uh, the returns that you get, would you agree? It's much, much more than if you were to do it on your own, right? Mr. Yes, 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 yes. 
actually actually my 2021 uh, actually is much more bigger but because of the reason the last quarter price drop you see the the, the december is started i think around the, the price is drop pop is drop so if not it is a bit bigger because crypto uh, especially you see but i uh, I, so... I, uh, let's <laughs> congratulate here for harry for just being two years uh for his journey of discovering volume spread analysis for a combined return of 55% return. I think that's wonderful. I'm sure for year 2022, you'll definitely see uh, a, another great year. All right, let's uh, give a applause to uh, Hari in here and uh, let's, uh, and his uh, final sharing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I uh, just a uh, secret, what is that knowledge is where uh, it's very powerful tool. Please, uh, uh, nobody can stop you to make money, please. Think like whales and follow the whales do. Learn how to swim in the market. So, master class will help you. Lah. The trade is a master class will help you. And I think that's all. All right, <laughs> great. Now, now we're going to move on. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we can uh, we could not stay longer because of the audience that we have. We also want to get straight to the Q and A in okay. here. All right. So, I will. Is it okay? I stop sharing in here. I got a couple of questions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some that's of the uh, public is already uh, very keen to ask. So, can I just yeah. share my screen here? That's right. So that was uh, Mr. Hari, Haran, uh, Haran, right? And yeah. uh, he was sharing about his experience in, I uh, think we all can see how enthusiastic he was, right? And let's get on to the uh, question that was posed on early on by uh, one of our members, all right? Mr. Hari, how yeah. do you control emotionally after uh, target profit? Shoot up. It shoots up. Have you ever in this scenario? A lot, a lot. <laughs> Many times, actually. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. You see, uh, we cannot predict the market. So, always, uh, you know, we have the target profit, you see. Maybe we have a 20% or 30%. But sometimes after we take profit, it will shoot up maybe up to 50%, 60%. Doesn't matter because, you see, my, first, we I feel... Uh, I don't know, we feel a bit uh, painful, see, because of the no experience uh, earlier. But after I got experience, that's a normal ready. But not only happened to me, not, it will happen to everybody actually. So that's a normal. So, so but but your TP level always will getting, uh, I mean, uh, the performance will getting better. Maybe, your, maybe uh, for maybe for 10 trades. Uh, your TP, you 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 already take the TP uh, for three trades, seven trades shoot up. But after you you know you you swim in the market, you know the market sentiment, you know better now better and better. Maybe you 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 gain six. Maybe maybe your your TP is much more better. Maybe from ten trades, maybe you uh, you earn six trades in better better TP. But another four still shoot up. It's no problem because we always have the profit and capital to go to the next trade. And, mm. and I always believe that market always gives us opportunity. Always market like to come down. He, he more prefer to come down rather than go up. So we make yeah. money, go up, then after that come down, wait for the opportunity to go in, in bottom. That's all. So we can, get, we can gain again. So emotionally, for now, if you ask me, no, I feel okay because because of the experience, because of the experience. So I feel okay. I it's enough for me. Twenty percent, thirty percent. So once if always you feel emotional, then it will it will bring you to the greedy. You see. So you what you will do next time? You, we don't do we don't take TP. We wait for the we were expecting the TP. Maybe it's not thirty percent. Oh, definitely will go to sixty percent or fifty percent. You wait for fifty percent. End up you. He'll trigger your sub loss. <laughs> correct, correct. Okay, <laughs> second question from uh, Charan. Uh, Charan Ji Kao. Hi, Hari. Long time didn't hear from you. Can you <laughs> advise how long it took you to learn the whole concept of market analysis, technical knowledge, and fundamental analysis? Frankly speaking, you see, uh, market analysis and technical knowledge is to take, uh, you know, uh, mm, around six to eight months. It's, it's six to eight months. Six to eight months. And uh, to become very strong, you know, it, one year is is, is good. It's yeah. good. But six to eight months, you manage to you you manage to uh, make money ready. Six to eight months. Uh, so early, uh, maybe for first one or two months, you will struggle a bit. Uh, 
to second month, third month. So, but after that, you're getting better and better. And fundamentally, something is different, you see. Fundamentally, it depends on your effort, you see. So mm. fundamental, yes, uh, how, 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 how hard work you are. How uh, how you want to know? You know, let's say you want to talk about. If you want to, you pick up one stock. You want to, you ready? You want to go through? You want to study the stock? You know, in term of fundamental, it depends on how how how, how much of money uh, time you want to you you put. So if you asking me, uh, fundamental is something like my 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 favorite, my favorite. So I spend every day in fundamental. If you asking me. So good, little good. bit by little bit. So when I'm spending fundamental for every day, in, you know, every day I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm doing some analysis. So how, you know, you know, that's why I like fundamental rather than technical. So because I put more time and same thing, if you put more time in technical, you like to become a trader. You like to become a trader. So it depends. Mm-hmm. So from these three offers, if you ask me, it will take around eight months, a fundamental around eight months, yeah, six to eight months. If you have, if you know the basic fundamental analysis is good, very good enough already. If you talk about like what Mr. Sifu always, uh, you know, you know, taught us like uh, regarding KG, EPS, undervalued stock. How this is that is straightforward. You see, so mm-hmm. if you talk about you know, uh, you check the financial statement, do comparing for last five years, three years, and all that. So that is the thing. But beyond that, if you want to go more, that is our effort which we need to put on. So okay. uh, for me, all these things were around eight months, six to eight months. I suppose the right answer it's it's going to be different for everybody based on the background they are, the interest, the time that they have. Yes. I, I took I, I have the mid, you know, for me doing the technicals took a longer time. Fundamental was much easier. Actually, I'm a fundamental guy, pretty <laughs> much like Harry in here. Yeah. Uh so we have to find our own flair. I think part and parcel yes. of what we do in our master class and also in all of our trainings that we do is to find what fits us. And the more that you, you do those traits, where we say if you exercise them, right? Try not to see a seafood do and you do. That's fine, I think, when you start it off. But after a while, you'll see what really fits you. And the sooner you get it done, right? Remember, life is experiment. You know, we have to go out and, and, and find out. And once we get into that, that's where the coaches, us, will try to groom you and, and get you back to hitting your target, your financial plans and so forth. All right, let's get down to our question number three. Uh, what did you do differently to move to being a consistent trader, or in your case, an uh, uh, investor, when so many people struggle? Oh, okay. Why you so okay? Why, why what do you do differently to become a consistent investor, right? When many people really okay. struggle. Okay, because uh, first is a uh, pawn. You have to choose different pawn. So that is become a uh, because <laughs> always don't uh, don't rely one pawn first. We talk about macro level. Second, once you choose the ponds, you should, should choose the stocks in different industry. Don't put everything in one basket. Let's say, for example, talk, if we have a, I mean, this is a, it's taught by Mr. Martin. It's no, you know, everything is taught by Mr. Martin. Okay. We have a technology stocks. We have, a, you know, commodity stocks. Uh, we have, a, mm. a, you know, a lot of uh, industries, the healthcare stocks. See? So you have to diversify your 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 portfolio from your pawn you choose the pawn from that pawn you have to diversify the stocks yeah the the industry so from there definitely you have a growth growth stock you have value investing stocks so you uh, don't put if me i don't put everything in growth stocks 100 i put 20 percent in value stocks still because i try to okay because although it's a it's it's, it's like a like you know like a kura kura la but still, okay, I'm yeah. getting a small, you see, uh, still uh, is manageable. For example, Johnson & Johnson. I'm still in profit until now from the investor. So, yes. bro, yeah. So, J- Johnson & Johnson is taught by Mr. Martin, actually, <laughs> as we do investor, okay? So, uh, so, so, you must have a different, uh, you must invest in different uh, portfolio yeah. and don't rely on, on everything in one. And always remember, market won't give you 100%, but let's say you're investing in 10 stocks. Market won't give you profit in 10 stocks. Always remember. So so when you diversify the portfolio, you diversify your industry and everything, different ponds, and you feel comfortable and you become a consistent trader and con- you will make a consistent profit. 
in uh, you know you know in in financial market I mean in in, the, in the stock so that is my if you ask me that is my secret but last time uh, you see uh, uh, last time uh, I I some I put everything in one you know I focus in uh, uh, you know this industry only because I like the industry so I like industry I want to put everything there no 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 mm. this is not something like like industry yeah this is something like you know uh, you must we have to look at the future this is a fundamental so fundamental so you have to look at every, every angle so okay. So, All right. All right. Okay. Now we can move on to the last and final question. What are the two or three major obstacle you overcame personally in your journey that you are in now? Oh, okay. First Challenges obstacle. that you overcome, you know. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. What uh, challenges are? Uh, what what do you call? Okay. Okay. First of all, uh. What I feel uh, challenges finance lah. Finance is, is I, I I have challenges in finance. Okay, because in stocks we need money, right? We have a must have a capital, right? I don't have capital much, and uh, definitely you know uh, uh, you know uh, money you have to make money. So you have to invest in order to get money. So it's very uh, difficult for me uh, first obstacle, and from there as with the small money, a small capital. You know, I, I I I improve my capital, I increase my capital, and slowly with the, my profit and all that. And now, if you ask me, everything, I mean, uh, you know, uh, is getting better. You know, mm. in term of financial. So uh, the one obstacle is the finance. If you know everything, even if you know money, then how to invest in the trade? So how to uh, how to do trading? So that is one of the obstacle which I faced earlier. And second thing is which is you know, um, uh, okay. Uh, which is my time time is very important mm. i i am facing you know time constraint you see you know you know after come back from my work you know i you know i have to concentrate this and all that because we are span you know uh, we want to learn uh, you know we want to know we want to go with this uh, we have to swim with this you know uh, we have to put some time effort you see so mm. that is uh, which is i you know i go to you know morning and come back and all that but if always we look at the, uh, you know time oh i know i have, don't have time don't have time until you know forever we don't get the time <laughs> so we have to allocate time uh, to even i will sometimes sleep two o'clock three o'clock in the morning you know try to analyze analyze and all that uh, yeah 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 i do uh, yeah. yeah do two o'clock three o'clock uh, sometime you know i woke up morning and i go to work come back you know so uh yeah that is uh, something you know uh, which is I, I, some obstacle I face lah, times constant. But now, okay, once okay, you know, yeah. then okay, then okay. Okay, and, okay, great. I, I think we all have challenges, personal uh, uh, dilemma that, you know, we have to let go, right? Some of the things in life that is not doing so well, we let go. We embrace new things like this uh, new investing. But I suppose it has given a lot of reward to many of our members as much as to me. And I do believe you also to Hari. So let's... Uh, uh, give applause, all right now, well, applause to uh, Mr. Hari for his Thank journey you. of discovering volume spread analysis as an as a investor in here. And uh, we will, of course, this is not the end of it. We will continue to uh, feature another speaker in here. So thank you again, Mr. Hari, for your time you. uh, you. tonight you. in here. So I'm just going to continue for the remaining of our slide. Uh, I, so the question I always ask everybody is, uh, have you started your journey of discovering VSA Wyckoff with us or not? And definitely, Hari has done so. And I, yeah, he has shared with you what he has done over the last two years. And I think many of you would have done the same. So what's stopping you now in here, right? We all have financial goals just like him. He has a small capital that he's starting off in, and he's looking for more freedom. He's looking for his first million, which is what we also teach in our masterclass that overall. And then coming up next, uh, is also another Wyckoff uh, wannabe is Miss Rosling Tay that he she became the Turtle Trader 2022 winner and she made a 21% profit in two months during this January and February. So the our uh, next speaker will join us, uh, our winner Turtle Trader, and she's going to come and share how she made it to be the Turtle Trader and, and she will have a very, very different story as so this time the story as a trader. Uh, compared to Hari, that will be on our uh, two more weeks from now, April 20th, uh, 2020. So make sure you join us then. So we'll be featuring a lot of our students from our masterclass 
and see how uh, well they have done and their story too. All right. And this is also one of the comment from uh, John uh, uh, Dominic John Baptist. He said that you know it's uh, difficult uh, to believe that trading delicious stock market could so easy. He was a skeptic by the simple medical trading method that we've seen using the VSA 360 uh, that has helped a lot of our total trader and hurry in here and congratulations. It enabled you know the right trading age. So for those of you who felt that you want to have this age, definitely our products is in here for a small fee and a price and all our masterclass members just hurry went through the masterclass which is the combo plan that you've seen so far in here so Pluto's for a low price and you're able to enjoy the kind of benefit that we talked about earlier on in here so uh, we're going to continue the VSA 360 as well a day trading some of you did have that question so but that will be on Friday night so make sure you join us on Friday night 8 p.m that's the QR code uh, that you can register in here and I'll see you on Friday and uh, we're going to be talk more about, you know, the after two years, you know, how Harry has done it and how we're going to bring some of you who are ready to make this journey ready back with our VSA 360 and something for our members and also the public who is interested to sign up. Of course, the first course that will start you out will be the uh, investing course, which is as much what Hari was talking about. And of course, he is being a member. He can always get to come back to our course in here. Find the next multi bagger turning crisis into opportunity that will be on the 13th and 14th of April, which is actually another uh, one more week from now onwards. So make sure you registered for our uh, the uh, masterclass, uh, sorry, for our plug-in. Then you can absolutely come for this course absolutely for free in here. And now uh, we are almost at the end of it. Don't forget our Telegram chat room for all the information that you have and do share this with your friend. And if you enjoyed tonight's talk with our guest speaker, Hari, in here, don't forget to review our uh, Google review in here. And we really appreciate your company and a bit overstaying tonight uh, so far in here. But I believe it is a uh, time well spent because at least you will find out the journey, what is B to become uh, a Wyckoff volume spread analysis trader or investor. That's the one we have. We are here with you. We sympathize the difficulty and the challenges that is faced by Harry in here, but we will ensure you have as much success as possible, just like what our, uh, our candidates uh, guest speaker, Mr. Harry Harande. All right, good night. Thank you for coming. If you have any question in here, uh, there's a number you can, you can get in touch with us. And those of you who like to sign up, for our combo uh, master planning here, don't go ahead and, and uh, just make that purchase in here. I'll see you in our session in here. Thank you for coming and good night.